Oh, man, we are waiting on this one all week, man. I got my brothers in the house tonight, man. This is the You Are The Church podcast, a product of the Truth Seekers Temple, man. Um, where all truths are held proud, man. Everybody gets to speak their truth. That's your gift from God, man. You know what I'm saying? And no one can ever take your truth away from you. So tonight, man, our topic is going to be the famous Michael Jackson song, The Man in the Mirror. And tonight we're going to examine what we think we see in the mirror, ways to fix what we see in the mirror, and maybe even the reasons we don't fix what we see in the mirror. And um, that's going to be it's going to be a question that I think it took me a long time to even think about, let alone answering, because I think that's the biggest search for any truth seeker: is you know, who am I? Um, know thyself is very easily spoken, very, very rarely known. Uh, I've yet to meet too many people who I ask them, who are you, that can succinctly and comfortably tell me who they are. So tonight, you know, we're going to examine that mirror, man, and uh, hear the perspectives of the people who have, you know, been willing to stare in it and do the work necessary to uh, better what they see, change what they see, or even bring what they see to a higher, you know, plane of existence. And that is, uh, that's the work that anybody seeking the truth should be, you know, doing. So tonight's first question, man, is um, <laughs> when looking in that mirror, um, what's the number one thing that you see that you are afraid to change? or that you wrestle with changing, I should say better, because um, fear doesn't live in the enlightened mind. So it's a very, very present reality for those who are taught wrong, but the more and more you reflect on your fears, the more and more you see it's the number one thing that's hindering you. So when you examine yourself in the mirror, man, you know what I'm saying, what are you guys seeing that you struggle with or wrestle with the most? And it can just be one thing, you know what I'm saying? I think Sifu asked the question last week, you know what I'm saying, that became the question for the night, man. So Sifu, man, uh, I know we spent a long time kind of thinking about this one on the end of the last podcast, man. Just if you don't mind sharing, man, what is that one thing for you, brother? Well, you changed the question, which okay. is cool. Okay, okay. But no, 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 that's cool. That's cool because the question you asked is easier for me to answer than the question that we had originally. So okay. I'm going to take advantage. So I'm going to take advantage of this. Right. Um, procrastination. Mm. Um, mm. That would be the biggest thing that, well, that would be the first thing and the biggest thing that I struggle with. And I often use, often give myself the excuse that there's something else more important than the thing at hand. Mm. Um, that would be it. Um, setting, because there's so many things that take first priority. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to say I wasn't able to get this thing done because I'm attending to that thing. Mm -hmm. But if I were to be honest with myself and set my goals the way I'm supposed to, then mm -hmm. I would set them in order of likelihood for success. And I'd be much further ahead than I am if I were to be honest about it. Gotcha. So that would be it. Blessings. Blessings. I think for me, God, I'm going to go ahead and jump in after um, Sifu, y'all. Blessings. I think for me, it's the uh, that insecurity part. It's like I'm not enough. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh, that's a slippery slope that can slide into jealousy. You feel me? So that one is kind of greasy. It's like, ugh, you know, like not thinking that you're enough. Not thinking that uh, that's one of the things I face with myself. I'm like, damn, you know. You know, you look at you look at everything that's going on out here in Maya, and it's like, man, you know, all this stuff is popping. And, or, or you can see like, man, they doing this and they get millions of dollars for that. And I'm like, this, I'm over here. You, so you, you fall in, you know, for me, because you know, 
we keeping it, we keeping a hundred with the God, I'm building with the God. So it's like this, man. You feel that that one that's like he don't feel like he enough. That's that one in the mirror that I be having. I be having. I, I deal with that one. That one helps me. Helps me, uh, you know, do my thing. Once I start to dance with that, come to turn like that. That, but that was the one that popped up in my mirror that was like, yo, nigga, you, uh, well, you, you know what I mean? But once I faced that and be like, nah, fuck that. Nah, I ain't this. I ain't, you know, my building process started. So for me, one of the, one of those fears was an insecurity of not thinking I was enough. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, like that. Wow. Real shit. And you always been dope as fuck to me. So, you know what I'm saying? Just know that, that I don't share that fear for you, brother. You, 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 you are. Yeah, no, nah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, one, it's, it's, you know, we done cut, we with the guards, we building. You know what I'm saying? It's you know like, I mean? like this. This is that chakra work. This is that, because right. that ain't the emotion. That's that work. You got to put yeah. in. You got to hold that, nigga. You got to hold that and grow for that and be like, nah, and build. Like, yeah, you, you know, but you said, you said who we look at in the mirror. I'm going to answer the question. And that's, that's one of the things that came up. Well, Work. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. For me, man, seafood stole my 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 uh my mirror reflection, man. It's pr procrastination, and um, you know, it, it goes back to I guess a few weeks ago we was on a podcast and I and, and we talked about well, I spoke about how I don't make plans, I don't plan things, but I prioritize things, so I always. For me, gym is priority. Gym, work, family, you know, in that order. Mm -hmm. I got schoolwork that I haven't even done in like a whole month now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I just keep putting it all. And on the weekends, I should be, because during the weekdays, I'm not actually going to get to the schoolwork. So on the weekends is my dedicated time to get to the schoolwork. But I procrastinate. I decide I'm going to go hit the gym. I'm going to run 13 miles a day. I get back. I'm, I'm trained. You know what I mean? So um, that's one of my biggest struggles, man. And I, I believe, I can't say that's my only struggle, but that's the one that when I look in the mirror, that's the first thing I see is a procrastinator. Mm. Mm. Uh, Kurt, Kurt, if you don't mind, um, quick question. Do you take the act of procrastination as a label and apply it to yourself, or do you just acknowledge that you are capable of procrastinating? Both. I, I have acknowledged that I am capable of procrastinating. And I also apply that to myself because I do procrastinate. Because I know for a fact that I should allot at least 30, 40 minutes a day to schoolwork. Hmm. I, only, I only jump in my books when I feel like I need to learn something. Hmm. You know, so yes, and, and to both of those answer to, to both of those questions was yes. I apply it; it's a label for me, and I know that I'm a procrastinator. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's good in a way because you recognize it and you know what you can do to change it because you've already stated it. So. Facts. Yeah. It's me actually applying that though. That's. Yeah. So that's the hard thing because, no, no. so it, it's a lot easier for me when I'm home with my family because when I, I'm working out, I'm working eight to 12 hours, but I have my family there. So now I replace my, my school time with my family time. So I, mm -hmm. I, I'm on the phone with my wife for two to three hours, you know? Mm -hmm talking to my kids and that's because I don't get to be there and see them. You know, so it's it's me prioritizing things and I prioritize things in a different level. You know, this is what's most important for me at this time. Now, when it comes to the schoolwork, like I said, I, I'm like a month behind, right? But 
I have staff duty Thursday, so that's 24 hours, right? So guess what I'm going to do for 12 of those hours? I'm going to do my schoolwork for 12 hours. I'm not going to complete all of it, but I'm going to do my schoolwork. Mm. Using that 24-inch gauge. Mm. Mm. Okay, so to you to continue that analogy, that 24 inches is broken into three parts. Three equal parts, that's right. Okay. Yep. So if you were to break those three parts into their increments, what would they be? You already know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> you already know the answer to that. <laughs> but but I could get I could give it to you. You got your Go eight hours for uh sleep and refreshment, right? Right. Uh, right. Worshiping God and then right. your usual avocation. You know, okay, so. so if so if I were to ask you to give me an elucidation on worshiping God, because there's another way you could answer that. And that's and that's the part that's I'm glad you I'm glad you went in that direction because that's actually where I was gonna go next. So it's eight hours for worshiping God or being in the service of who? Hmm. No, don't know. Being in the service of a worthy brother. Oh, correct. Correct. Right. Right. Okay. So I know one of the things that helps me overcome my shortcomings, especially the one of procrastination is having a brother who can hold me accountable. Right. So, or a queen, have, or a queen, or or, yep. or a queen, or a queen, or a queen. Yep. But but in this respect, it would be it would have to be a brother. But I get it. I get it from. I got you, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got you. I get it from that. Ah, I got you. Yeah. yeah. All that. Yeah. Right. Um, sometimes, the sometimes the person don't need to be smelling nice to get that point across. I got you. Nah, nah, then, then she just distracts. But you. I'm just saying the queen got fired. That's all I was saying, Seafood. That's all I was saying. You feel me? She got fired for your ass. Hey, man. She can light your ass up too. But go ahead, master. Go ahead. My fault. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's that accountability for those eight hours. You know that accountability. Um, Yes, God. You know that um that that brother can can at least can be in that service for me um because as long as my cable toe will stretch. That's right. You know, that's one of the that's one of the things that I'm looking for. You know, for that rap to to accommodate. You know what I mean? Um, especially right. if if especially if you know we especially if we link up we join hands and we agree that you know this is these, these are the staircases we're going to climb right you know what i mean and and we we might climb three today we might get five the next day how many are we going to get the third day oh well, you already know seven ah uh -uh. okay i'm gonna leave that alone <laughs> 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 yeah man but so so seafood to uh elaborate on that that's mm -hmm. my struggles now because i'm here i don't go anywhere to you know um to like like really talk to anybody you know i my, my day starts at i wake up every morning at five o'clock mm -hmm. and from five o'clock i don't get home until like five thirty six o'clock at night you know, so then I know I have to devote some time to my wife and my kids. Then after that, it's like almost 11 o'clock here. I have to start my whole day all over again. It's Groundhog Day for me. I don't have mm -hmm. the luxury of, you know, being in the comfort of of my, my brothers and my family and my friends. Mm -hmm. So I constantly put myself to work. I constantly keep myself busy. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, that, and that's like I said, that's part of my procrastination because I put off things that I know I need to be doing. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not in that boat by yourself, my friend. Definitely not. Hell no. Definitely not. No, Definitely not. I um, man, is it is it a struggle because 
you find it easier to do the things that you're honestly passionate about versus the things you know you got to do? Or is it just like, you know what, I, even if I love that shit, I still procrastinate on it. Like that, That's kind of my question. It sounds like the things you love, there ain't no problem doing them. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. Um, it, anything that I'm passionate about, man, I'm going to make time for it. You know, um, and, and that's the problem. I should be a, I tell, I always use this statement, man. I, I tell people this, man, I'm good at everything I do. If I'm doing it, I'm trying to be the best at it. Right, you know what right. I mean? But I'm not the best at school because I'm in school, but I'm not, not doing the work. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, man. But um, yeah, just passionate, man. Um, my, my fitness, man, my, my lifestyle being active and my family is is the two things that I'm most passionate about in this world, you know? Gotcha. Gotcha. Kurt, we could we could we could hook up we could pass information and, and, and hook up and, and, and talk a little bit more about that other thing off offline. Oh see but we'll definitely do that. Yeah. Uh, um I'm gonna have to take a real it took me all week to think about this one, man. Seriously. Like, I couldn't really figure out what it is that I wrestle with when I look in the, in the mirror because I wrestle with so many different questions. That every time I look in the mirror, it's a different wrestle. And I had to really think about which one is the one that is probably the most consistent wrestle. And for me, it's probably, uh, it's going to be rage, man. It's going to be anger. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, it's just like, you know, growing up and having that sense of, you know, that's the that version of God and, you know, almighty, all knowing, all healing and, you know, punishing those who do misdeeds and then growing up and not seeing any misdeeds being punished for those who do them was a real wow. like, yo, that one, uh, that, that one snapped something in me, right? Uh, so I was like, in oh, the isn't it funny? The only people that get hit are the ones that's trying to do the good stuff. Trying to do good, right? Trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to <laughs> ascend to that plane of like, I'm going there. Yeah. And right. watching all this injustice go unpunished and then getting to the point where I'm like, all right, then I need to go punish it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously God gave me the eyes and, and, and the ability to go punish people. And, you know, really taking that to the foremost extreme. And then looking at where I, you know, I ultimately, you know, came to wrestle with is that maybe I just don't trust God at all. Maybe my image of God is not trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And that became something that, you know, Hassan said earlier is because maybe I was looking for God without versus looking for within. Mm -hmm. And the betrayals that I felt from this, you know, mythical, magical entity that, you know, may or may not exist was just me betraying, you know, not trusting and not using my own mind to guide my own life. Mm -hmm. And still to this day, when I think about some of the injustices that I see or I have suffered that are similar to injustices other brothers and sisters have suffered, I still can't help but feel a level of rage that is just like dangerous. I got to pause myself, like before I go do something. I, I got to sit back and be like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me let that, be its course because I don't know what you know where that's going to lead that person it may seem like an injustice to me but it may be a wake-up call for them yeah. it may seem like an injustice for me but it may give them the tools that they need to inspire me as a people I think I look at anybody who's you know really been an inspiration they didn't come from a silver spoon you know no 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 trial no tribulation life I mean, the people who really inspire you the most, they came from some of the worst stories you can imagine. And it's the fact that they were able to overcome that is the reason they're so inspiring. And I think for me, it's getting into the mirror and getting comfortable with knowing, man, I'm a pretty damn good person, man, but all I've endured, you know, where the hell is God in all this? You know, where's all the so-called magical gifts, the blessings, the equilibrium? Where's the reciprocity? Where's the justice? in a world where it's just absolutely crooked. And it seems like being crooked is the way to be. And I guess that's what I wrestle with the most. Like, how do you stand on your square and, you know, put your chest out and say, I'm a moral man, 
when immorality seems to be the thing that carries you forward in this world? I guess that makes your diagram a square. That in spite of the injustice you see, you persist in standing on it and carrying yourself and conducting yourself as such. In, in a righteous manner. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what the hell that someone, is. Someone you got all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, you erect yourself. Right? <laughs> I'm still angry and confused when I think about that statement. Like, I, <laughs> yo. All right, so, um, you watch Bruce Willis oh. movies? Yeah, a good many. All right, so I forget the name of the movie, but it's the last movie. He's one of the last movies he's in. Uh, his daughter's a, a, a grifter, and you know, she's hanging out with this, this white dude who wants to date her, right? And he's a little, he's a little pencil looking, opie looking dude. Anyway, um, the bad guys uh, take over the, 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 the cloud and shut down the electronics in the entire city so they can, they can, so they can move, move. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, right? I had seen the new Die Hard. Right. Yeah. So anyway, there's a, there's a point in the movie where the kid looks at Bruce, who's all, of course, in all his movies, he's all beat up, bloody, mud, mud everywhere, cut up, bruised, right? Mm -hmm. So he's looking at him, he's going, why the hell do you put up with this shit? Why do you do this to yourself? Why are you that one? So he tries to explain it, but goes throughout the whole movie. Anyway, towards the end of the movie, the kid does some stuff in the movie to, you know, that raises his his ability to sacrifice himself for people greater, for people he cares about. And that's what the point that Bruce was trying to give. There comes a point when you care about something greater than yourself and you're willing to give yourself for it. So at the end of the movie, you know, the kids all, kids look like Bruce. He's all beat up, bloody, broken, you know what I mean? And so Bruce looks at him and says, okay, you can date, you can date my daughter. He says, why? He says, because you that one. So by the end of the movie, he finds in himself enough of himself to sacrifice for something that he cares for more than himself. Gotcha. Mm, right? Let's go. Let's go. So that's what makes you that one, in spite of the anger that you have. Right? Talk that talk. Talk that you, talk. That's you it. find with <laughs> you have within you that part of you that you that you recognize is great enough to sacrifice for things worthy of that sacrifice. <laughs> oh, that's when it gets sweet, seafood. That's when it gets sweet. When you can see that, it gets sweet. You can you can transport your energy in different ways. You can be like, oh man, I ain't got it. You can be like, you know what? Hmm. You could be like, hmm. You can you once you get in that chair, you could distribute that shit like ninja stars. You can. You could do. My fault. I absolutely. felt you. I felt absolutely. you. Absolutely. I felt absolutely. you. When you, when you calm it down, when you calm it down, you you become that distributor of that energy. And it's, it get ill. It get ill. That's where the party at. That's where the party is at. I hear you, seafood. I, I still, I, again, I guess I'm like the kid, yo, because I don't get what the hell you just said, but I hear you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, nigga, you ain't catch that. Oh, nah, yo, I'm, I'm, and again, just like you said, it, it's my reflection in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? That's my particular. Let me put my shit on mute. Let me eat you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. I'm, I'm gonna just jump in and be like, oh. if it made me go low, I'm gonna say something. But see, see, look. Oh man, nah, man. But it just, you know, again, that's that wrestle I have with the mirror, man. It's just like, man, I, I um, you know, I, I definitely have a, 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 a interesting story compared to, you know, any any black male story. I don't, I don't think mine's that much different. It's just that I, I have gone farther than most black men say they went. And you know what I'm saying? In that, I found a wrestle within myself that was just very uncomfortable. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why did I have to go so far? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I deserve the life that I've lived. 
And a lot of times within that, go ahead. Yo, that's like, okay, it's like, it's like alchemy. It's what's going on. You know what I mean? When you, uh, when you dealing, all right, the, what we dealing with is dealing with self, you know what I mean? And the, and the emotional body, so to speak. They call it the chakra system and all of that or whatever. Your life, your built up life experiences and all of these things and your inner early programs that's in your mind. So we got to bag up and use the science of understanding what our mind is, how that shit works. And you got to understand what mind control is. You know what I'm saying? So we talk about these different things in the Holocaust reparations and all this different stuff is yes that happened physically but then you got to look at what the effect that it has on the psyche so each of us as individuals we're gonna have our own obstacles our own shit to deal with so you have to the mirror science is the ability to face that self and then when that monster arrives what you need to do is, is understand that that monster is your motherfucking ass. It's you. It's a reflection of you. It's, the, it's, a, it's a ripple off the energy that you put out and came back and facing you. And they try to describe it in Lovecraft with horror movies and all these different things. You're dealing with darkness and you're dealing with the subconscious mind. So, and, and I say this shit, and I can say it, that ain't easy to motherfucking do. Don't get me twisted. <laughs> okay. It's not a walk in the park. You right. know what I mean? So I'm not trying to paint that picture. Sure. But if we if we open it up and look at it and be like, damn, what's going on? Yo, like my man uh, Curtis got his, his his routine. He like, yo, when, when it come to this that I'm passionate about, I'm going to make room for that square and that time in my mind. So that creates a repetition. So you got repetition, symbology, and traumas, shit that fuck you up, you ain't catch it, a car accident that makes a burn in the brain of the computer, like a CD burning. So the vibes you feel, what you got to do is, if you, the, the trick is getting the one, to getting the one or getting the knowledge of it is saying that, okay, look, it's some ill shit, it might be scary, it might be this, it might be that, what the fuck ever, saying to yourself that it's me. If you could do that, then go in front of the mirror. Okay, if you get scared, okay. But you stepped into that shit knowing that it's me. Now you got a different angle on it. So if you see that it's you, you might be able to empower yourself to make a better decision off the vibes that you're feeling. So that's why a nigga like me, I keep it basic. I deal with a candle, light it up, focus my intent. And I try to work that shit out. But it's hell. It, everybody create their own hell. I got, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm no better than nobody. None of these bro lovely brothers on this motherfucker. I'm not trying to grandstand or none of that. But it's sure. like this. Sure. It's like this. You're dealing with yourself, you know? And you got to just tap in and go in and slow your brain waves down and deal and tussle with those feelings or whatever it is. Because, see, what it is is that, look, you can go happy singing or you can go kicking and screaming either way the energy going down you still got to go uh wash baby girl up in the tub i still got to go do that i'm still gonna have to dig through the goddamn laundry and find her goddamn underwear i'm still gonna have to do that i'm still gonna have to go over here still gonna have to cook and yeah i'm gonna be tired uh you still gonna go through that human shit because you got having that human experience but the trick is is can you come to a a a, a fucking just have a meeting with them niggas up there in your mind and say, look, look, it's a lot of shit we got to do, but guess what? I choose in my mind to go about it happy and just believe yourself of it and believe you in control. Believe that this, this, and that. Guess what? It ain't going to stop. It's going to be some shit. Uh, hey, I can't make it. Khalid, yo, that y'all niggas on? Yeah, I want to be on it. Shit, Khalid, I can't make it. Things are still going to happen, but if your heart, if you calm down and face it, reorganize it and know that, yo, I'm in control. I'm going to have my failures, which is scary, facing your, facing your mirror. But I also know that, goddamn it, hey, I got some goddamn sense. I'm good at this. 
So you deal with your, your pluses and your minuses when you're looking in that motherfucking mirror. You do that, abracadabra, you can rework it. You can say, shit, you know what? Hey, man, shit. This, this I can't look, shit. I'm gonna go, I'm a, I might have to pay my man 200. I'm not no goddamn plumber. But when it comes to this, you got to swallow your pride. You got to maneuver. You got to navigate. It's different things. And it's all in you. If you remember that, kick your feet up, Hover. We got you, nigga. Your answers are going to come through. Bless us. So move from that place that's like, yeah, I don't like this. I'm scared of this. But use that as an empowerment. And now you might fuck around and start cooking, you know, but it's that's easier to say than done. I know I'm spitting it out, but nah, it's, it's, I'm building it's, with the God, so I, I'm going to kick it. And once again, let me put my... Nah, it's a, it's a good reminder. You, <laughs> I, nah, I appreciate that. I love y'all. I'm going to keep it real. This is Kyle and Brock, bro. You already know. You already know. I love you each too, one, bro. And each one of these I'm brothers a, on here, I'm, it's the same because boom, boom, boom. So I, I can't be nothing but myself. No, nah, I'm going I'm to I'm say this. I'm going to say this. Has, uh, Hassan, how do you pronounce your name? Hassan or Hassan? Yeah, my name Has my name Hassan, but you know what I'm saying? His nickname is Haas. Okay. Yeah, nigga, you can call me Haas. Um, all right, so I'm going to say this. You have a unique way of saying it, a unique way of spitting it, but I'm going to second everything you just said because you took the whole thing from beginning all the way through to end, especially the part where you said, you can choose, you can decide for yourself how you want to address this thing. It ain't going to be easy, it's not, but you it's not, have man. to decide. You, you, but, but you, you have to decide. I like that. You, I like you, that. Once you switch, what, look, and you ain't did nothing, but once you switch and be like, it's me. When you switch that part and say, it's me, then, okay, buckle up. Cause then it's gonna get, but if you if you strong enough to just say, you know what, all this stuff, I'm gonna take responsibility for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna eat it. If I didn't make it to this, I didn't get shorty here. Ah, I, I went to the store, I forgot that. If you able to take that plus show, I'm the flyest. I'm this. I'm that. Take that with it, cause nigga, it's a package. And then and then when you and 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 know that part. So then when now when you look at fuck y'all, what's up? Y'all know how I get down and y'all know where I fuck up. So let's 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 cook. Let's cook. The it's, jig is up. So the so, angel and the devil is the jig is up. I understand now. So son, here's, here's, I know here's, now here's, when I need to move this way, <laughs> and I know now when I need to get and clean that sword. Hold on, hold on. Hold on right quick, son. This is something that Oh, uh, I'm full oh. point, right? I guess where I'm listening and, and where I'm wrestling that is that for me, I feel justified with the anger. That's my biggest problem. Right? I don't see the anger as the enemy. You a bad motherfucker there. No, I should be angry. Like, you know, like it. You know, so that's the part that kind of keeps me. You out here like, you out here like, nigga, you owe me. Like this, like this with it. <laughs> it it's not but, like, not, but not like you're trying to be, you know, but it's it's the energy. I get it. I yeah, get it. it's the energy modality sometimes. It just you like, man, y'all been, y'all been caking out here off of us. You like that. Don't it. you see it? You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. angry is, you know, it, it's yeah. kind of, you know, the thing that I wrestle with. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's kind of feeling justified about it keeps you from looking at it in a perspective where you just like, Oh, I need to fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really need to fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it takes so long to first of all recognize what's causing it, if you're even looking. And then if you can figure out, you know, what the triggers are, then now you have to figure out is it something that you feel like you want to change? I mean, other people may want you to change it. You know what I'm saying? The world may be like, hey man, you'll be so much better if you were less angry. You know, uh, the, the narrative for every black, the angry black man or the angry black woman, that's America's narrative for you. And it pisses me off 
Yes, that that's the narrative. But what really is the thing that bugs me the most is like, well, why aren't you concerned about what makes me angry? You think I'm just born angry? And you think I'm naturally angry? Like, what is the cause and the triggers of the anger? And I, I, what I'm taking from you, though, and it, but please don't ever think I'm not listening. I'm listening intently. It's like, well, shit, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you're choosing to be angry. No, not really. Not really. If, if I mean, I'm not, and Haas, please forgive me. I'm not speaking for you at all. Um, but I'm just speaking from, from what I think I hear Brother Khaled saying. I don't go think God, go ahead. Go ahead. Lord. I don't God. I don't God. think so much I don't think so much that um he's saying it's it's a choice that you make. He is saying it's a choice that you make how you deal with it. But when it comes to something like the anger you're describing, you should be angry. And don't short yourself for not being angry about it. Um the the question though becomes Let's look at it. Let's look at it from piece piece by piece. What is anger? Anger is a reaction. Anger is a reactionary emotion. Anger is an emotion that everybody feels in reaction to a stressor from their environment that tells them autonomically something ain't right. Period. That's what the signal tells you. Something's not right. So the question that you have is what's not right? And what should be done about it? Um, anger is the is the is the emotion that the subconscious mind gives you that it says change the situation you're in because it's unhealthy for you. You know, like an analogy I used to give my 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 my, my clients um, to get them to understand what stress is. Stress is a good thing. Stress is good and stress is bad. If I were to put your feet in a cement block and stick you in the middle of Highway 95 at four in the morning, you might not feel so bad for about an hour or so. But then as the sun comes up and you see those headlights coming at you, I guarantee you, your stress level is going to rise the closer those headlights get. Now, all of a sudden, you're feeling stressed and yet stress is causing you to try to move your shit out the way. That's anger. Right? You feeling angry because you're in a situation that is untenable. It cannot continue. So the question is, what do you do with the anger? Anger becomes a problem when there is no way to let it out. There is no outlet for it that allows you to redress the situation. Then anger cooking, becomes you cooking, you cooking, you cooking. It's a vow. Right. Go ahead. I'll get back to the right. vow. I just need to say that. It's a vow. It's a vow. You learn ahead, all this ahead, shit. And you get ready to pop. If you don't have no vow, ooh, you cooking. Ooh. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. If you don't have a if you don't have a venue, if you don't have a, a a way to express that anger that fixes the problem, then anger becomes an issue. So have the anger. But the problem that you and I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that many of us feel, is we've been screaming for so long, and no one's been reacting to the scream. Everyone's been looking at you and saying, what you screaming about? Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is not fine. Okay. No. If it were fine, I wouldn't be screaming. Thanks. Do I look like I like to scream, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, I'm getting hoarse out here. And I, when I lose my voice, I'm going to start swinging. Right. Now you're going to say, I really got problems, right? <laughs> so, you know, like we talked about earlier, the, the, for me, the objective is all, the, the idea has always been, if there is not a way for you to hear my voice, then I need to create a bigger microphone. Um, mm. because if you can't hear me when I'm just screaming at you with my own voice, I need other voices. Mm. And if you can't hear my voices in the form that it's coming, well, now I need to change the method of my communication because I need you to, if you can't hear it, you will at least feel it. If you can't feel it, you will at least see it. If you can't see it, I'm gonna make you taste it, smell it mm -hmm. some kind of way. I'm gonna simple. get this community. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get my message across. You smell me. You know what I mean. You might and, have to smell me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. You smell and if me, that doesn't work, then yes. Yeah. 
you know, then I'm a creative, then I'm a creative vehicle for me to change this whole conversation because clearly I'm not getting through to you. Mm. No doubt. Mm. I, uh, no, nah, I mean, again, man, that's something that, you know, it's, it's, it's been a lifelong wrestle for me. I, I honestly feel like this year has been the first year I've been able to face it, um, more so than just trying to bury it, bury it, and bury it. And having people, like I, I kind of said early, last podcast, like, I couldn't see the anger. You know what I'm saying? Bro. It was bro, so ingrained. Hey, no, 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 no. I ain't gonna let you slide, nigga. Hell no, because you my boy. <laughs> Welcome to the mother. Welcome to the motherfucking party. Okay, that's where the party is at. I, I feel you because those because those those so called L's. That's when you really learn that science of you know what I'm saying the less the it's a lesson. See, before it was like, uh, uh, it make you feel uncomfortable. So then you are resent and run from it. But now. If you got wisdom, you could be like, damn, boom. And you, you analyze that loss in a different level and be like, why did I, if I'm if I put my mind on a course that's for the better part of me, why did I slip? So now when you take that loss, it's like, let me analyze why and look at it in a different way. Instead of you being afraid of what you're trying to pursue. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, it's before that- it could be like, it could be like you uh you you going after it, but you had this fear of this happening and this happening. Once you realize that it's all you, you can pursue. And if you happen to have a failure, then you could just analyze that failure for what it was and still remain in your chair and not be, oh, the circumstance of the failure is what got me off my shit. No, you're right and exact, but what you want to do with your mind and what you want to pursue. No, you're not crazy. You got a good heart. All that shit is in check because that's what we're checking if you believe in yourself in the first. Mm. Now we ride out from there. If something happened and da 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 da, no, I I I I know I was doing what I was trying to do. I ain't got damn wrong. I ain't no bad motherfucker. I feed my kids. I play with this. I just yeah, I, you know what I'm saying. I sip and drink with the boys or whatever. The, what, my goddamn yo. So if, so if if it do come across. You can reanalyze it and not feel like you this bitch ass victim of some shit. Right. You can say, you know what? So, talking to the game, I'm gonna do what I need to do. I ain't saying you gotta be a bitch or nothing, but you could just realize how energy moves and what it is. It is what it is. You can be honest with yourself and accept that. So therefore, we can fast forward to what you already do in your mind, in your waking state, because you already doing it. You just don't believe that you're doing it. You know when some shit don't smell right. You know when some shit don't feel right. I mean, so now you, now you can so, get to it. So people, now you can get to it. It's it, it's sometimes though, like all right, let, let, let's 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 take it back to an example that um that again, man, I wouldn't wasn't really comfortable sharing this shit, but I, I'm about to. You know what I'm saying? I, like you said, I got I got to get your brothers, I gotta get yo. comfortable with it the work. your brothers, yo. Fuck that. So for me, man, do? like, <clears throat> I had been angry for so long and so many different points of my life that I would just hide that shit and then explode when it got too too big, right? And then I got good at sh- kind of calming down the explosion. And what happened is that my whole interaction with people was just angry as fuck. I, I couldn't see it though. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm doing a good job at being normal. And people are like, yo, why are you yelling? I'm like, I'm not fucking yelling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm walking around, you know, constantly balled up, but I think I'm normal. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm having a, you know, I, I'm psychologically blind to my anger. Like, I can't see my anger anymore because I've, I've suppressed it. But it's coming out of every pore because I'm having a conversation with the person that, you know, said at the Walmart, like, yo, why don't you have any more water? Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, yo, calm down. You know, like, that's not their fault. Ain't no water in here. Yeah, but they should be stocking the shelves because it's after 12. Like, and you know, I ended up spending, <laughs> I ended up spending a lot of years like in that mode. And for for the longest time, not being able to recognize that, like, 
it damaged a lot of relationships. It damaged people, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you know, people asking me for help or, you know, looking for my opinion on things and I'm reacting angry, like, you know what I'm saying? And now that I actually have started to do some of the work and look at some of the, some of the, the ways I've interacted with people, you know what I'm saying, throughout the years, even now when I talk to people, it's kind of like, oh shit. Like the way they reacting to me, I'm like, oh man, they super defensive. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need to, I, you know, I can see how I've interacted with you. I can see what my anger has done to our interaction with each other. Because even when you're talking to me, you're talking to me like you got to defend yourself from me versus, you know what I'm saying, sharing your opinion with me. And for the first time in my life, I can actually see that. So, yeah, I guess I am beginning to do the work. And like you said, it did stem from my failures, like me not being able to really get to the level I wanted to get to because I could not see this wall of anger. But the flip side of it is that I couldn't address it because I thought I was being normal. I did feel it. But I thought I was like, yo, I thought I was tucking that bad boy in enough to the point where I was dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was coping, but I was really just, you know, on the verge of a, of a dramatic breakdown. And for me, that breakdown was very shameful, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of cat to break down. I'm a strong nigga. Like, what the fuck I look like breaking down, nigga? My ancestors wasn't on the slave, slave ship getting beaten, crying and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? My ancestors was in the woods hunting and killing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, you know. I, I got a different lineage, yo. I'm, I'm upsetting the ancestors out here acting like a bitch and shit. Going to therapy and shit, crying and shit. And that never entered my mind as something that was a form of strength. So for me, it just kept me tucking in all the things that was wrong with me. Right. Like, you know, the thing that about, actually was about, the show of strength, I, I, I took as a show of weakness. Yeah. It's a, that's the thing. It's, it's not about a win or a lose. You can see that union is about ending the competition of the energy. You, what you do is you come in into balance with the energy. That's the beauty. That's, that's what make it, that's what make it sweet. Cause you realize like, oh shit, the anger, I don't gotta, I don't gotta, uh, I can't kill it. I don't gotta, I just need, I, if I figure out I could transmute it into something, whatever, whatever, we good. I might need to go to that motherfucking hit the bag. I might need to get it in. Simple as that. I might need a little tussle. I might need a little whatever. And that's, that's, like your your energy signature of what you are, that's the thing about the, the okay. Your energy signature, that's not the problem. It's your understanding of what your in, energy signature fucking is. Mm -hmm. You can be angry, powerful, you can be a fucking beast out here. That's cool. But if it's time to sit down and your hands just got damn big, can you pick up a teacup and just be around? humans <laughs> can your consciousness go the different spans of what's going on and no if a motherfucker come across that goddamn da -da -da, like uh, boom boom bop, 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 the same way granddaddy gonna get the shotgun hold the fuck up who the fuck yeah if they cross the boundary nigga you can hope you can flex and turn green when you right. feel like it right then you in the good because they cross your boundary of your family and you can go raw but it it's 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 a they call it what they call it in alchemy it's the divine union of the masculine and feminine energy and it's not about killing it it's not you can't kill it you can't so you what you synthesize it you hone it you you work at it you try to look at things from different ways and then you can then you realize motherfucker i can wield it i can I can, I, I can, seafood, you know, you, you work, you, and then you, you, then you can direct it, you can, uh, you get a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you, know what? you gotta build it up, you know be but look, they can't do, they can't do that until they work it in here and get it, and then it can come, but you yeah. know, it's, you know, you know, it'd be interesting, Haas, if, if you, so, if you and I could just sit down and examine our pathways, <clears throat> to where the how the the path the paths we took to get to where we are because i doubt you came to it the way i did i doubt the gate that opened up for you to get into this is the same one that i took 
I sincerely doubt our feet were placed on the same stones as we walked along this path. Mm -hmm. But it is so, it's so, I'm trying to find the word to use to express it. But it is a joy to hear that you're there at that point and sharing the same elucidations about it that I have, knowing that you came to it from a completely different direction, I'm sure. It would be interesting as I don't know what. And it would be a challenge to those zealots that I had to walk away from to say, nah, here's a brother who came from a completely different direction. We didn't, we didn't cross the same summits. We didn't delve into the same valleys. Mm -hmm. He probably came across treetops. You know, when I came through the tree roots, but here we are standing on the same same patch of ground. So, that would be so interesting. So, peep this. To keep the flow going, man, I actually got two more questions. I'm looking at time, boy, and it is ticking, ticking, ticking. So, um, let's move on real quick just to kind of, um, for the interest of time, because this okay. is going to be a very interesting session. I appreciate everything everybody shared. No um, what is it? that you're trying to become in that mirror? What, what, what do you want the reflection to actually be? Hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I start. Woo, let's go, yes. Yeah. Let's go, cause that was, woo, shit. Hold up, let me get my shit together. <laughs> I want the reflection to be actually what I see. Hmm. Hmm. If that make any sense. Break that down. Break that down. Okay, I'm unmuted. Damn. <laughs> in the mirror, we look at the mirror and we see what? First thing you see, you. You don't see your inner struggles. You don't see your demons. You don't see your battles. You know what I mean? You don't see your, your flaws. You don't see your scars. You don't see what's hurt here in your heart. What's when from what happened two days ago or yesterday. Mm. But when I stand in that mirror, I want to actually see all of that so I can fix that. For me, it's all about... For me, life is about perception, right? Um, it's what I perceive life is. However I look at life is how it is. So that mirror, like like House was saying earlier, like that's, you gotta, like he said, that choice. Now you, if I can see this, I can fix it. I have the, okay, I wanna work on my anger today for you, Khaled. Like, yeah. Anger is a big thing. I see the anger. I see that rage right here in the front side of my face. Like, that's what I want to fix today. I want to fix that. My procrastination, I want to fix that. You know what I mean? When I look in the mirror, I don't see no procrastination. I see a, a gym going, fitness, junkie, healthful, eating, family loving. You know, I don't see those struggles. I don't see those flaws. So that's what I actually want to see. I want to see mm. who I am. I was saying, I was saying, folk, yes, that, that focus on that, that's your choice. Because mm. you know I mean? it's, it, it's the, the, the shit you got popping and the shit that you, eh, but wait, what you going to do? You can't, you can't, uh, you can't wade in the mud, you know what I mean? So you might as well go ahead and one up on the shit that you know you good. Mm. And, just, and, and trust in that, trust in that, because goddamn it, shit. You got you 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 got having a man experience, so it's gonna get dirty. But if, if you kick back after you look at your checklist on your day and be like, "Hey, I might not have had this, I might not have that, but you know what? I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that," and be all right with yourself because we be kicking our own ass. Is what be happening. We be kicking our own ass through. Via consciousness, like a motherfucking Bluetooth satellite. Do, 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 do. Your feelings will make you feel away. You know, 
and that's what's happening. It's the thing, the trick, the jig is, is the feelings ain't wrong. It ain't bad. It's information. So if it make you like, like this, the choice begins with what you want to do about that. Do you want to react like that? Do you want to like this? You know what I mean? Say all that rah, rah, rah. Somebody kind of, as somebody kicking the door, waving the fork. Save all that. Save that nigga for that. You hear some shit that don't sound right. Grab your istol and, 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 and do it. And, you know what I mean? And secure the motherfucking perimeter. You know, like the soldiers say. You know, secure it. That's when you get ready and click into that mode. But however you do it, don't let nobody tell you how to do it. I'm talking all crazy. But I'm not telling you how to do it. That's another trick. You have to do it your own way. Your own way that make you feel right. That's the trick. When a nigga try to prescribe you on, on, on that part, mm -mm. you can suggest. It's the art of suggestion. You suggest, you can propose. But when you settle with that shit with yourself, whatever you feeling, it's like, yo, you need to make this move and make that move. Trust in yourself, man. Trust in yourself, man. Yo, Haas. Trust in yourself, God. Uh, That's what you trying? What you trying to become when you look in that mirror, brother? When I'm when I look in the mirror, you know I'm ill. I'm a cultist, so I'm ill. When I look in the mirror, I'm trying to figure out the next move because I know it's a simulation. So, uh, I'm not perfect. Uh, I don't eat right all the time. I deal with spirits. I may sip a little, but I take care of my goddamn kids. I love my goddamn woman. Uh, I study, I study hard. I venerate my ancestors, you know what I'm saying? And I put their asses to work too. Ain't no slouching. My granddaddy's on security, you feel me? Uh, I, I help I help everybody that I can. And um, I try every day to work on my failures as a human, as far as my insecurities and uh, trying to be a better man around my girl. And making sure that um, if she can't get the laundry going, that um, my kids and shit got their clean underwears and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know? So when I look in the mirror, can't cry. Can't do that. Why? That ain't gonna help nothing. So it's a lot of shit. I'm sore, get tired, my girl gets tired, whatever. But I'm gonna focus on the key points, make sure the meals is met. Make sure my son uh, therapy sessions is met that he need to get, and I just make myself the best I can be and take all of this crazy ass knowledge and wisdom and make it practical with what I could do. So when I look in the mirror, I look at myself and I be like, I analyze. How you feeling, God? How you looking? I might have a couple. I have a bump here, a bump there, but I look at myself and I say, you know what? That ain't you. You weigh more. What can you show me that's gonna make me better on the next move? Bless you. you know, and I know I ain't perfect, but nigga, you got this. You walking through this and with your fuck ups and your wins. You won either way. I Bless win. You. I win. I told I tell myself I win. I win either way. Either way, I win. I'm a spark. That's it. I'm yo, I win. You gotta convince if you don't but look. If, if, if you don't, look, ain't no nigga going to feel you till you feel yourself. I ain't the flyest. I got crooked teeth. You know what I mean? But I fucking win. I win. Convince yourself that and walk through that door and you take your pluses and your minuses and you deal with them, God. You deal with them, yo. Got to do you just you just deal with them. But once the trick is, once you know that what's going on, you can stop being emotional about the shit, man. You can come up off that. You go to practice. The seafood might bust your ass one practice. It's cool. Eat that. Learn them lessons and come back. You God. Blessings. Stop playing. It's all a lesson. You good. You know what I mean. You ain't gotta ball up in the corner and no shit like that. You know what I mean. Realize that these things that you fear is, is, is created and encrypted in your consciousness from your youth coming on up. And now that you're where you at, you got this shit and all these illustrious teachers done left you. Yo, man, it's all in you. 
Now you take them as tools and open up and do what you got to do. If you don't get it all in one day, it's all right, man. Don't beat yourself up. Stop kicking yourself in your own ass and realize that, yo, I'm going to work it. I'm going to get there. It's at where it need to be at. It's this, is that. And you can calm the fuck down. And I'm going to shut the fuck up. Nah, that's that's blessings. Nah, niggas. I love y'all. Y'all be getting me going. Y'all be getting me going. I love y'all. Blessings, yeah. Uh-uh, I see food still thinking, so I guess I'll go next. I'm, uh, I guess for me, when I look in the, go ahead, Sifu, I'm sorry. No, I'm not, I'm not thinking so much as I'm, I'm feeling what's being said. I mean, gotcha. believe it or not, I'm still playing what Kurt said in my brain. I'm still playing it over and over yeah, and that over was deep. because that was a very succinct way of putting it. Um, yeah. Brother Haas elucidated on it, kind of filled in, you know, added some color to a frame, but it was very, very succinctly put, you know, what I want it to be is what I see it. I don't want to see the flaws because I want them to be gone. All of the, all of the dreams and, and aspirations, I want them to be manifest. So when I look in the mirror, what I see should be a reflection of the success that I know I'm capable of. Mm. That's what I want to see. Mm. I like that seafood. And so to brother uh, Haas and uh, seafood. So uh, Haas was talking about wins and losses, right? Um, For me, like just for me, just put it in perspective. um, Do you think think God's good? I don't view things as like wins and losses. You know what I mean? I learned, I, I look at things as, as as far as understanding and and learning oh you know, i like yeah i do yeah i like that yeah yeah that's just that's, that's just me that's that's yeah <laughs> yeah has. it did seafood um so I, I definitely um like exactly what you just said but with so with that there's the yin and the yang, you know what I mean? Like we all walk this, this, this earth and strive for, for, strive for perfection. We want to be better than we were, what we was yesterday. And like the old song says, like you can't experience it without pain. You know what I mean? So I like to see my good and my bad. That way I can acknowledge this and say, okay, like at Cali, if I want to fix this rage, I'm going to fix this rage. But if I don't, I'm going to hold on. Hey, hey, that's it. That's it. You know when you need to, you know when you need to use it. That's when you're in the chair because it's in your hand. You could be like left, right, left, what what you want. Facts. Facts. That's it. So becoming that controller. I was saying when I was on mute, I was like, son, you on it. I was like, thanks for that upgrade on that. Uh, you said, well, how did you describe it? You said not wins and losses, but what? Hit me, hit me with that one more time. Understanding and learning. Yes. I use that to describe it, but you illustrated what I was saying when I was like, yep. I can't lose. I'm, I right. win. Either way, like if I, I take the loss as a le- So you, yeah, I like yo, the way you put, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yo, man, that's, I, I that's it. To, I wanted to that's jump it. back behind you because I heard right. everything you said. And, and yeah, right. you, you you said exactly that, you know. And, and it's, it's not to say that I don't agree with your point or a seafood point, that y'all said exactly what I said or was thinking or how I feel, but I just describe it in different, you know, words and lights. As a God, as a God, as you should, in your own right. So because see, yo, hold yo, on quick, hold on quick, Hoss. Hold on quick, Hoss. Right, right. I, I want to I get Sifu's opinion out because we got one more question for tonight. Okay, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Oh, no, nah, I thought you was going to answer the question. You said. No, I did. That was it. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. On me there. My bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, man, I want to look in that mirror, man, and feel like I'm living a life worthy of dying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I look in the mirror, it's, it's just never enough. You know what I'm saying? It's always more for me. And it's not in terms I'm not necessarily um, happy. I'm just not satisfied. And I always want to be leveling up, always want to be progressing, always want to be going more. But I, I want to get to a point where I feel like I've lived a life that has left a legacy so big that I'm happy to die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, yo, all right, whenever it come, yo, I did exactly what I was supposed to do on this cycle. You know what I'm saying? I'm not giving my children any emotional baggage. I'm not giving them unresolved issues. I'm not leaving, you know what I'm saying, my queen in a position where she can't fend for herself. Like, I have done what I'm supposed to be doing as a person. And the legacy that I'm leaving is gonna live on. And I feel like if I die before that, I might as well just come right back. That's a failure. You know what I'm saying? Well, listen, God, look, I'm gonna tell you like this. Compared to what's going on out here, you, nigga, you already there. You're there. You are there. Get you, okay, you want to fill a ways? Get you two insurance policies, right? <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. Go ahead and get you two insurance policies on everybody you boom, boom, boom. Right. And record and backup hard drive all of your works. Do your will for your, your studies. And my brother, I fucking love you. You have done <laughs> You don't understand, bro. You don't understand what's out here, man. The type of people that's out here, bro. Stop underestimating yourself, man. You know what I mean? It's certain individuals who can't even comprehend. Like it's a cipher going on in the gods' building. You feel me? Look, 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 look. On, I'm looking at this screen, and I, I, all I see is gods. You feel me, bro? Nah, man. You my nigga. I ain't nah. It's like you seen that meme when the young boy's playing basketball. He put his chin down like nah. Bro, we from that cloth, bro. We from that cloth. If it's about bread, if it's about this monetary system that the European got set up, get two insurance policies, line them bitches up, get that bread line straight. It's probably gonna be like thirteen dollars a month. You feel me? Structure, yeah. structure, structure what you want to structure. You know what I'm saying? And then that way, whatever you dealing with, you rolling out hard and you going out, man. You know what I mean? And you could take that load off your back, man. But don't ever think that uh. Yo, man, you 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 got this, God. You know what I mean? You got this shit, man. It, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We dealing with what we dealing with. We de if we leave this earthly realm, I mean, it is what it is. If we go have, we might still have, still have little people running around here, whether they want to understand what we saying or not. All we can do, can do, can do, can do. All we can do. Is okay. It's a monetary system insurance policy. If I die, they get some monetary exchange because it's the way the system is. My work, my heart, my video, my 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 artwork, my this, my that. I got it back up on a hard drive and shit. I put. I don't know. It might. I might. They might not get it. They might. I don't know. But oh, put man. in a security ah. deposit. Put a copy in the security deposit box. Ain't nothing else you can do, God, because I when you create that. life, yo, when you create life, that life got a life of its own, and you as one man, you can only do what you can do with your with your two hands to understand. That it, it's so free free yourself from that stress. And I'm I'm saying it and I'm doing it because I've been working on this shit and I ain't got it down pat. I'm not trying to proclaim, but Sure. I'm gonna come from a place that's being for real, and that's all we can do, God. You know, no, what I, mean? I appreciate them, that. Watch them, protect them, and that's just it. That's it. So Please. everything else, receive yourself for that. Fuck that, man. You know. So and, it's 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 a pre it's, it's 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 a pressure for me, man, that I use as a you know extreme motivator, man. Like, uh, you know, my brother yeah. tells me the same thing that you tell me all the time. Like, yeah, you know, it's it, it you know you've done so much. It's like you know, how do you 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we born and raised in Dirt Road in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, look what we've done in life, you know, to this point. Yeah. And for me, it ain't enough. Like, I, I don't know yeah. what it is. I, I can't tell yeah. you what the driver is, but there's something in me that's like, nah, and all, I'm, you know? and all I'm saying is, is that I'm not no motherfucker. I'm not trying to portray be the tough guy. You feel me? I'm just saying my antenna is up maybe because I'm a slim guy. But my antenna is in that direction. So, shit, I'm a goddamn, ain't no telling, nigga. Ain't no telling. I got a box cut around this bitch. I got shit. You know what I mean? Mama, look, I got a brick on my altar. Niggas talk about these altars. I got a brick from when mama <laughs> used to say, if the nigga too big, hit him with a brick. I use that shit for spiritual work. I'm, man, I'm, man, I'm, I'm 100 with it. I'm 100 with it. Like, the universe is mine. The mind is all, man. It's all right, man. Yo, you ain't got the, you ain't got, you ain't got the, um, the loudest system in the hood. It's all right. It's all right. Be you. It's this is your alchemy. It's for you. And once you embrace and accept that, you can, you can have a motherfucking blast then. And how the story go is how the story motherfucking go. As long as you're true to your art and true to your craft, everything gonna be laid out for you, player. You good. Everything laid out for you, player. Whether some bullshit nigga try to hit you from the side and snipe you, or uh, I ain't trying to bring negativity into it. But what I'm saying, if you at where you supposed to be at and you doing what the fuck you supposed to be doing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't got nothing to worry about. So that that and it's hard. Up. It's hard because you wind up doing shit for people. That's when you step out your bubble. See that? Why? Hey, baby, go do this. You step out your time bubble, right? Look, look, I ain't perpetrating fraud. It ain't perfect. It ain't like this. Like, I'm painting this shit. No, it's hard, nigga. It's hard. Because it'd be like, oh, your son need this. And shit throw you off your circular rhythm where you got to jump on a circular rhythm for the shit you got to do. And that's when it get ill. Because now you like, you like, man, I don't even be out here this hour. I don't even. But you got to deal with what you're dealing with. And you know what? Hmm. You make yourself bigger. Like, what what he, what, what, uh, what he say? You make yourself what uh seafood damn seafood you you was ah you was stomping earlier you uh you 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 bigger that shit seafood seafood told y'all niggas man he told y'all in the beginning <laughs> he told him that's what I got hype I got I get hype off of that shit you 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 realize that love the love frequency is it's more than this when you realize you're more than this. Consciousness is not local. It's not local. It's being transmitted. So putting your body on the line for some a motherfucker you love, we see it in the movie, we be like, oh, oh. But for the nigga that did it, it's not even a thought process. It's a reaction. Hold up, my nigga, they busting. Over my baby. What the fuck? Over my daughter. What? It's a reaction. It's natural. It's innate. So your consciousness move like that. That's your energy. That's your power. It ain't about cutting that power off. It's about understanding that power, Joe. Understand that power, Joe, and learn to work with that joint. And it, it's going to be a buckle up. It's a rough ride. So let me ask a question to the group, man, on, on, on that note, Haas. Man, that, um, that's actually a good segue point, yo. So I ain't gonna talk y'all to death, man. I gotta shut the fuck up. Nah, you good. You good. Y'all yeah, got me. Oh man, shit. So let me ask you a question, family. Um, Kurt, when you look at this work, that that look in the mirror, it's a personal look, right? It's an introspective look. It, it, it's a look that takes a lot of internal work because only you know what you see. You know what I'm saying? Like, if people had to share with me what they saw in the mirror previously, I would have been like, get the fuck out of here, man. That's not what you see in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm actually doing the work, I can look at it and go, wow, you know, I never would have, you know what I'm saying? Never would have thought that, but that's your work. So is this work that you can actually do by yourself? I mean, yeah, you look at it in the mirror. Yeah, you're actually, you know, talking to yourself and trying to fix yourself, but can you do this work by yourself? That, yo, you was, my fault, you was, uh, that was the question for me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you actually can, do this work I by do, yourself? Nah, like, 
Like you remember, I, you I said this a That's while a good one. ago. You slick. I said, That's a good one. I said uh, no, no man is an island entirely to himself. So we need people. We need we need somebody. You know what I mean? Like we might not think we need people. Like uh, you, I, I heard you speak about counseling earlier. You know what I mean? And going through therapy. You remember I told you I went through therapy because I was angry. I was, and, and, and for so long, I felt like, nah, like this, you know, like I'm, I'm from New York. This is how I talk. Like y'all get with it, get lost. You feel me? But that's not natural. I need somebody to fix me. So with that being said, like, no, I feel like there's certain things that you can do. There's certain things that you can do on your own, but the majority of things, you need people. You need somebody that has been there, that has experienced something, and that can that can relate and talk to you on that, that, that subject or how to fix it. You know what I mean? So, no, I don't think you can do all the work that needs to be fixed on your own. Mm. 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 And, and like 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 Sifu said earlier, man, like we, it's, it's brothers out here to talk to. It's, it's sisters out here to talk to. You know what I mean? Like we we gotta we gotta be willing to be vulnerable at some point in time. And, and that was my thing. You know what I mean? Like I never wanted I never wanted to look in that mirror and feel vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like I, go I like go like had that earlier. Like, I said, yo, like, I look in the mirror, I can't cry. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'm at this point now to where I can look in the mirror, and if I wanted to cry, I'm going to cry. Mm. Because, like, that, I got to, I, I have to feel, we, we have, we have been programmed to be strong for so long and to, to like, to put, things on a back burner as far as our mental health but we only know physical strength you know what i mean like we don't know the mental strength because we don't want to be vulnerable we feel like a man is not supposed to be vulnerable facts facts nah i i, I um man yo like that let's go kurt let's go huh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I was on mute, nigga. You cooking? Yeah. Cooking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that, fam. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, man. That that was. Yeah, that's, that's Easy. Early. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's, Stop that's it. Think, it was on. I think it was the, on. The, I think what 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 you said about being vulnerable is is extremely um, uh -huh. extremely important because you know can you do it alone? No, you can't. Nope. Um, nope. Because, you know, like one of the things that I deal with is a sense of loss, you know, and I carry that sense of loss with me. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it is, it is a big enough burden that even when, even when I accomplish, even when I excel, even when I exceed, I still carry a sense of loss. Right. Um, and that feeling is pervasive and it's overwhelming and there are moments when it is so heavy that it carries you all the way down into the depths of that darkest place you know where you don't want to go but then when you get there you can't find your way back mm. you know um there are moments when you have those conversations to yourself and you try to um, the term for it is self-talk. Will you give yourself a narrative that's positive? Um, and you give yourself a positive narrative and you give yourself a play-by-play -play of it. Okay, so this is how we're going to face this step-by-step. -step. And Haas is right. It is a choice you make, but even in that choice, you still carry that sense of loss. Yes. And that weight and that burden is still there. And the it's pain no shit. is it's still yours. there. You, got it. Ooh. you know, so, on, and it's that it's at those moments when you really need another voice because I can give myself a play by play. I can give myself instructions. Okay. This is how you get through this. But 
when making the analysis of what to do, because I'm the one feeling the pain, I'm the one that's give myself that's going to give myself the easy way out. Versus listening to someone else who is not feeling what I'm feeling and who can give me the hard road. Because it's that third voice, that other voice that'll tell me, no, I know it's not what you want to do, but it's what you have to do. Hmm. Uh, and then not only give it to me, but give me the support I need. I bet you Sifu's phone just died. Oh, damn. Man. He'll be back. He was cooking? Yeah, Sifu be cooking. Cooking, yo. Yes, yeah. sir. Hassan, man, is this work you can do by yourself, brother? We wait on Sifu to come back. Um, nah. Mm -mm. Not in North America, niggas. Sorry, niggers. <clears throat> sorry, New York. Sorry, South Carolina. Sorry, Georgia. Sorry, Florida. Sorry, Texas. Sorry, Midwest. Sorry, Cali. Mm -mm. <laughs> Can't do it by yourself, niggers. Nope. Because you've been mind controlling program. Nope. You either gonna need to, you gonna either need to pick up a book, get put on to some ill lectures, be in the hood and be in the streets with somebody that's building or dropping something. Come across one of your cousins that got a CD with Dr. Aleem L. Bay on it or some crazy shit. Or uh, what, what was me uh, back in the day? I found a man, I was in like eighth grade and fucking Jordan. I had a fucking Jordan Maxwell VHS, mm. the Illuminati shit. Mm. And I ain't even in high school yet. Mm. So th this light, mm -mm. <clears throat> you have to come across something that's going to spark it. If not, you're going to be early indoctrinated. You're going to be indoctrinated. And if not, if you ain't in that system, your, your motherfucking ass is watching TV. So I know you program that guy. Down. <laughs> so <laughs> it is what it is, but this was beautiful. If we talk from it from an alchemist perspective, we're dealing with, like Bobby Hemmett would say, trans transformation through putrefaction. And then I had to think about what the fuck I know. Cause it ain't about it ain't about repeating some shit somebody said. I thought about the orange. And you know how the shit get, get mold, turn black, and then it turned white fuzzy. So out of darkness come light. And then these niggas is like making penicillin out of this shit. And I remember as a little nigga drinking the pink shit. You feel me? So these small observations when I examine myself and what I'm dealing with, I realize that these things have a process to rise. And your shortcomings or where you lose or them L's that you take, that's the birth or a catapult of the energy to take you on your rise. Cause the crystals or Christ's energy, it can't, they be like Christ is risen. Well, if if the energy is all knowing in this other shit, what the fuck do we got the rise for? Because it's talking about you. Mm. And you becoming it, when you take it, dip down, you deal with your insecurities, you deal with your habits, you deal with this, you deal with that. And you face it, and then you can you can you can realize that damn I can control the energy that I'm dealing with. It's gonna be some scuffles you go through, and we really us brothers up here we can't describe those things that you're gonna go through because they all unique to every person that it is. We can't tell you that part. We can only express and talk from the shit that we deal with, but. Everybody else is going to have their own shit because your, your structure and your energy signature is a reflection of who the fuck you are. And the only thing I can tell and recommend for y'all niggas is to meditate on it and not meditate on no goddamn rainbows. Meditate on the shit that make you feel away. The shit that make you feel, <clears throat> shit that make you feel uncomfortable. And listen to the inner dialogue that you have with yourself. That's where really facing the fucking mirror is. 
Right. It's, face, it's facing the inner dialogue with yourself. And yes, you can face that motherfucker and come with your willpower and say, I want to see a king. I want to see a prince. Project that. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. So I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a take what you just said, man, and what Curtis just said and what Sifu was saying. And I'm going to... um. Again, just share another truth, man, because for the longest time, I thought the man in the mirror and even any type of internal conflict was a personal battle. So don't share it. That's some weak shit. Don't talk about it. That's some mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you know, and, 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 and just keep the weakness out of other human beings' perceptions. I don't give a fuck. It's your mama, your brother. No weakness. Don't show weakness in front of nobody. Mm-hmm. And that perspective just came from an environment where weakness gets you killed, you know what I'm saying? Or weakness gets you, you know, completely shunned. You know what I'm saying? You show an ounce of weakness, it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. So in the mindset that I had, it was like, you know, conscious nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like, oh, I will be conscious until a point where I'm offended or upset and now I'm emotionally, you know, reacting, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm upset to the point where now I want to do you something just for a simple disagreement. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's nothing conscious about that. Right. But what it also taught me to is that it was proof that you can't do this by yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And the proof is, is that you are not harmoniously engaging with your environment. You're completely out of harmony. Mm -hmm. So if I can't seem to come into a room and get along with anybody in that room that I'm not in control of myself because I can't adapt to the situation to be able to make uh, it. Yes, 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 yes. And since I can't yes. adapt to the situation to make it harmonious, yes. it's not the situation that's the problem. I'm the problem. I'm not in exactly. full control. Exactly, because you're supposed to be secure in yourself to whereas any situation that you be fall upon, you're secure with who and what the fuck you are. Took me a long time to understand that, man. Took oh, nigga, long, nigga, that shit long. sound fly. Look, don't it sound fly? It sound, <laughs> look, it sound fly as a motherfucker when I spit it like that. But that come from getting my ass kicked. You heard? Man. I ain't here to perpetrate no motherfucking fraud. I'm not. I promise I'm not. I promise. But you hit this motherfucking nail on the head. That's what it's being able to be like, yo. Come on. I ain't got yo shit. I ain't got the loudest system in the hood, son. I ain't, I ain't got it. My shit ill though. You know what I mean? Look, what red man say? I got eighteen. I ain't got twenty twos. I got eighteens, but I keep them clean. You I mean, and, 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 so, so you gotta. It's the part where you see you. Your divine right is your own kingdom in your own right, in your own way, in your own. I, I can't. Damn, man. It's Hold hard, on real quick. Hold on real quick. put it on the button. You. you feel me? I got it's, you. Hold it's, on real your, quick. Your, your crown is designed <laughs> for your head. You got it. And you can't get lost in another. Hold on. I got you. Got, you Hassan, slow down real quick. Let me say something real quick to you. What I was about to say to you, homie, is. The honest to God truth is, is that it's hard to realize you the person out of harmony, right? So like to your point, sound fly when you saying it, right? It sounds super fly, you know what I'm saying? It sounds super fly. But to your point, and I didn't want the point to get missed because there may be somebody who's still wrestling with everything that we're saying, you know, in, in, in the consciousness right now, right? So here's yeah. what I wanted to say is that when you start to notice a common theme amongst the people that you interact with, mm -hmm. that when you come around, things seem to get a little disjointed. Whenever you start talking, people start to kind of get quieter in the room, whatever you, you know, bring your truth or yourself into the situation, the situation seems to end up in a little bit of chaos. A lot of times you have a, a set, oh man, them niggas, they whack. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I come into the room, catches, they not on my level. You have a chance to 
to to take that and use that as an ego thing. You have a chance to take that look right. at it as somebody's less than you, right? Right. right. But a lot of times when you walk in the room and you can't bring harmony or create harmony in an environment that was already harmonious before you got there, you the problem. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of people can see that. I know I couldn't see that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like, I, I probably yeah. couldn't see that till this year. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, me just walking into a room and just, like, my opinion makes the, the entire room uncomfortable. Right, right. And I'm willing to share that because that's my truth is my opinion, but I'm telling you, we said it on the last show, man. Would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? That's the theme for me right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, the pursuit of happiness, man. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yo? Yeah. 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 And it, My apologies for dropping off, gentlemen. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, we bro. definitely wanted you to finish yeah, bro. the thought, brother. Yeah, I lost, 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 lost power for a second. Yeah, I figured that. I get, um, I just get, for me, I, I just get, you know, I get, I get, because you, yeah, like, Kyle, you my bro, dog. Like, you my bro. So if I see, if I see something that's like, yo, it's like, boom, it's like this, it's like that. I'm at it because you my bro. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't want to come across no no kind of a way. And I'm not saying that you was necessarily, you know, like that with it towards me or anything like that. But yo, man, I, I really, I really feel like, you know, we're at this point for this level with the consciousness, it's like, you know what I'm saying? One of the things that we really need to understand is that we are in the seat, man. You know, that's that's the first step that you gotta really just take with yourself and realize like realize like yo, I'm in the seat and I'm gonna take full responsibility. You know what? I'm not necessarily perfect when I go through this. And and that's okay. That's all right. That's a balance, that's an understanding. So that's gonna exist whether you beat yourself up or not. Mm. You see, that's that's the one, you know, that's that's the game. You know, that's why they slipped the one on you because you can fall into a guilt consciousness, poverty consciousness, uh, a less than consciousness or whatever, whatever. So we got to understand that when we're dealing with the thoughts and the streams of thoughts and thought forms that run through the super, super computer that we call our mind, we have to be very, very careful with that because that ain't going to do nothing but uh, manifest itself out into the physical reality. So I get hyped when... I hear it in the in echoing off the, the chambers of the kingdom or the mind. I light up because I'm like this. I'm like, nah, fuck that. Don't put that into the speaker. You know, uh, and I'm not, and it's not trying to control nobody. You know what I mean? Not like that, but it's just like, if, if it's somebody that I care about, like you call it, you my bro, that's why I'm even on, you know what I mean? And, and any brother up here that's, like that with you, then they like that with me. So yeah. I just want I, I like to bring and reflect that light of like, yo, nah, man. Mm -mm. We 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 got this. We got this. I represent that. We got this. Cause we created this. And all is in the mind, and the mind is all. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We create these different situations in our path so that we can carry out our inner alchemy to understand ourselves better. That's mm -hmm. why we create these these problems and these equations for ourselves. So Instead of getting all mad and red, you got to be like, shit, I can't do that right now. But if somebody come boom, boom, boom at the door at the wrong hour on your property line, you light their ass up. Simple as that, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm going I'm to pass it off, you know what I mean, to the gods. Uh, appreciate you, Hassan, man. Love you, brother. No doubt, no doubt. Seafood, let you finish your thought, brother. Um, oh, shoot, I'm not even sure where the where the, the phone disconnected me at, but I think I was trying to to. So the, talk. the last thing I heard from you, Sifu, you were actually getting into um the part where you were talking about your transformation. So we were talking about can you do this by yourself, and you were going into no, you can't. No. And here's why, you know what I'm right. saying? You were getting into the reasons you just can't right. do this by yourself. Right, right. Um, I think a little bit of what I was trying to talk about was, at least for me anyway, the reason why it can't be done by myself. Um, um, 
at, because of what I what because of what I carry along with it. You know what I mean? Um, to be, you can be truthful to yourself. You can be true with yourself, and you can truthfully, um, to use a term, diagnose what the issue is. The sense of um, what you said. Right, right. But if if you were to say, you know, so you identify, okay, this is the issue, then how do you address it? Well, mm -hmm. because it's me talking to me, right. then I'm right. going to give me the easiest route out because mm -hmm. this is the thing that I really want to do. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's what I, was, that's what I was talking about when the phone died out. And I was talking about, for me, the biggest, one of the biggest issues is the sense of loss and pain that I carry with me. You know what I mean? Um, and it, it hurts. It's painful. You know, for, for a number of years I carried, you know, I carried a, a, another, a, another half, a partner that went everywhere, did everything with me. Um, you know, from, from my time um, in, in going through um, the, 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 the fight training, the last of the years I was in the ring, fight training, going through that. Um, getting the school going, training those, training those fellas, getting the getting the fight team up, going from one state to the next, you know, doing exhibitions and whatnot. From that, hitting the gym, doing competitions, going through that whole lifestyle. This person was right there with me, lockstep. You know I me, mean? and then, boom, gone. That sense of pain is resonant, mm. and. And is is mm -hmm. is 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 overwhelming and fills every ounce of being that I have. You know, I mean, it's like you know, it's like it's like a like a ink dot that just grows and grows and grows and grows. And no matter how much I try to write, you know, it just gobbles up all that I try to write. You know what I mean? So I can acknowledge what the problem is. I can point it out. And being a counselor, I can even I can even I can even even pinpoint exactly what needs to be done, decision needs to be made, how to do it, the methodology, you know, all the way down to, but then carrying the pain prevents me from giving myself the one thing necessary to get through it. I know I can't get over it. Surrender, surrender. The art of surrender. Come on, Sifu, keep going. I, can't, keep I, can't, I, I, I know I can't get over it. I have, to go, I have to go through it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I have to toil. I have to struggle. I have to, to slog my way through it. But having that other person that I can, I can vent with, I can allow that pain to express itself. I can have someone else who can see me at that low moment very, and very say, got I, you got one knee on the ground. I ain't going to let you put the other one on. I'm going to drag you the rest of the way through this day. You know the I mean? homies in the hood is valuable. Yeah. You know what I'm the saying? homies in the so hood is valuable. When when they that understand pain, you. when that pain for that moment passes, mm -hmm. and you're able to put both feet on the ground again, that I'm gonna back <laughs> off and let you, let you travel on your own for a while. And I know you're carrying it, so that it's gonna jump on you again. And when it does, right. I'm here for you. You know what I mean? So that's why, for me at least, that's why it can't be done by yourself because everything could be great you can present the greatest picture to the world meanwhile you got you got world crushing stuff going on inside of you you know and for me that's a lot of what prevents me from making those steps so i said procrastination i know where the procrastination comes from depression is a real thing mm. depression depression comes from pain okay um, pain for me, pain comes from a sense of loss. So I know where it comes from. Having the strength to get through it on my own, not working. Mm. Mm. That's a ball game. Hey, man, hey, seafood, man, that was deep right there, man. Um, I definitely like that, especially when you said that um, you you have to go through it. Yeah. Sometimes like that's the only way for us to improve, you know what I mean, and become better in life is to yeah. go through it. You know? Yes, Kurt. Um yes. hey, that right there was no. yes. that, so that was hit, it right Kurt, there, man. Kurt, he hit it out the fucking park, son. Ooh. 
Listen. Hash, yes, I'm, he I, did, bro. No. Yes, he did, man, because man. I, I sit here and I think about – um, I know you was talking about, you know, your losses. Um, and, you know, I had really one – I had one that was really – uh, dare to me, man. My little brother lost my little brother a few years ago, man. And um, who, you know, it was really tough, man. Um, yo, peace, yo, 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 peace I, to the God. I, I tried to, God. to. Hey, man, I appreciate that, Has. You know, um, I tried to give it to God, I, and I think eventually I did. I surrendered myself because I remember Has said that. But eventually, I just had to go through it. I had to deal with the pain and hurt of not ever seeing my brother again, not ever talking to my brother, not ever hearing his voice. My mom's hurting, you know. Um, and this is, uh, a lot of people ask me, well, my brothers and my si my siblings are asked me, you know, how do I still feel with it about the situation? And it's hard for me to tell them that I'm at peace because I know they don't right. want to hear that because it right. was, it was no, it was, it was no peace right. behind the situation, mm -hmm. but I'm at peace with it because I went through it. They still haven't went through it yet. Right. So thank you for that, Sifu. I really appreciate that, I mean, man. I needed I mean, that tonight. I mean, that's I mean. real shit, yo. That's real spit, yo. That's some, man, I can't mm -hmm. imagine my little brother, God, yo. That's, that, yeah, man, that was, that was, that, that, was that, that hit it on the head right heavy, there, man. man. No. Heavy, yeah, man. man. Heavy. That was it. No it doubt. Is, man, you a, yo, it. yo, I'm going to just say you a strong motherfucker, even, you know what I mean? Having to deal with that, God. That's, yo, that's tough shit, man. We all are, man. You know what I mean? That's, we all that's that work, some type man. Of that's that work. You know what I mean? We all got our own design when it comes to that work of the, the feelings and the emotions and what we dealing with, man. That's nigga. You took my hat, nigga. That's that's peace to the God, man. You know what I mean? And he and he right here with us. He right here, yep, here with definitely us. Definitely appreciate that, that too. Right here with bro. us. You know what I mean? Word up. I mean, shit. Right. I'm about to pour something for him. Shit. Yo, I, it's, it's, it's the thing that, about going through it, right, is to, to, to your point, Kurt, man, and you seafood, man, it's like you have to do it, but a lot of times it's not a conducive environment for you to do it. Like you almost got to do that shit like in silence and hiding and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's very hard uh -huh. to find an acceptable environment to be able to do that with. Well, that's why they pay counselors for on one hand. That's right. Yup. That's what goes back to allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Yep. Exactly. There you go. And on the other hand, like Kurt was saying earlier, we've been raised to believe that strength is not showing weakness, you know? Um, but the truth of the matter is some of the strongest trees you find bend with the wind when it becomes a greater force than they can stand. Let's go, Willow. Let's go, Willow. Let's go, Kwan Yen. Let's go, Willow. Let's go, Willow. Let's go, Kwan Yen. Let's go. Talk that talk. <laughs> you know, um, and it's in their ability to bend that they are strong. Um, and for us, I think that's one of the biggest lessons that we as a people can learn. But on the other side of that, we couldn't show weakness. We couldn't show vulnerability because to do so, even in our own environments, meant certain destruction. So we had to carry a veneer of indestructibility. We had to carry a veneer of, of stony, you know, disposition. I have no feelings. You know what I mean? The young lady step up to you with whatever game she got, and you got to treat it like a piece of, like, like a walking commodity because that's the way you know what I'm saying? You prevent her from taking advantage of you. Young young kids come up, you got to present them with, you know, an air of, of, of invulnerability. You know what I mean? That, because to try to show them any ounce of kindness means they're going to shiv you in your back because that's the environment that they grew up in. You know, so somehow, some way, we have to, I mean, think about it. Mm -hmm. Stress amongst us as a people 
takes at least 30 to 40 years off of our lifespans. Just stress mm. alone. Mm. And it's funny, Sifu, because it's, 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 and I mean, everybody's family is very different. In my family, it was reinforced even by my mother, who was like, well, if you're hurting, it's your fault for wearing your heart on your sleeve. World's cold. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like you I know, yeah, I felt that. Yeah, and, and you know, and she, I mean, the, it, even if I felt that, so. you know, even if you had a moment where you felt vulnerable, suck it up, get back to right. it. Right, you know I'm saying there right. ain't no, there, right. there were there. So for me, there wasn't really many avenues in my household to talk about how I felt, um, because nobody give a shit. I mean, it, it wasn't that they didn't care. It was that they had so much going on within them at the time. You know, my parents were divorcing, you know, battling addiction. You know, mm -hmm. they were trying to, you know, get mm -hmm. themselves into a point where they were functional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they could, you know, possibly help me. Mm -hmm. But with them going through their own internal battles while I'm, you know, trying to bring different things to them, it was just too overwhelming for them. Right. And it, and, no, it, right. and it took me, you know, shit, it took 30 years to be able to see that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and many years of resentment, you know what I'm saying? But it, it took me to, you know, my father's passing, you know, and after he passed, you know, just letting go of a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? It, it took it took 10 years after he passed just to let go of some of the anger and resentment mm. that I had. Um, so it, it, it was... It, it was one of those things the way I look at what's being said now and I go, you know what? I completely agree. Would have been very interesting and would have saved me a lot of gray if I had had an opportunity to probably share or learn those things earlier on in life. Mm -hmm. But to your point, son, like, you got to go through this. Like, this is, this yeah. is what it's for. If you yeah. couldn't handle it, God wouldn't put it on your shoulders. Check this out. This is what hit me when you was, when you was, when you was building, God. This just hit me. It's like, Daddy? It's, it's not, hey baby, hold on one second. It's not necessarily wrong for you to direct the child and be like, yo, nah, you need to, uh, 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 and, and you go with the discipline angle on whatever it is that you're dealing with. In that, in that, in that moment, in real time, you feel me? In real time. The thing is, is based off me listening to what Sifu said and then what you said was, was that it's that there's nothing wrong with shutting their asses down or saying to kids, yo, blah, 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 and you don't have time to explain to them. There's actually nothing wrong with that because you're doing the best thing that you need to do in that moment in real time. The problem comes in, and this is after I listened to how you spoke, was that we don't create the environment to whereas we process everything else. Or at the end of the day, we come back and we open up a format and say, hey, baby, remember when daddy was like, da 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 I need you to get in the car right now. We need to do this. If we don't open up that space to where we level, we level the floor when we deal with our children to where we open that up, I think that's the part. Because like, if you got to bark on your kid in the heat of the moment and they about to hop in the goddamn street and the car coming, you going you whatever going to come out your mouth going to come out your mouth. You see what I'm saying? So it's not necessarily about being away with your kids and cuz it's like it's real life out here. It's the fact that after are we creating the atmospheres where they know why that we can pry the area where we can process shit. Yeah. Right. We can get into what happened. What was this? Oh, get up the morning. How you feel? How you feeling today? What you? If we create the area to where they can really express where they feel, when we go to hammer and we show what we feel, we feel it's going to be respected or come across a lot better. At the same time, the child don't build up this uh this 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 pent up uh mind control dictatorship programming disciplinary fearing God feeling about their parents. Imagine that, you know? So it, 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 you, you'll you see a different what you do dynamic. is you, you look at it and then once you look at it, you just try to create and just balance what's going on. 
you you'll see a difference. And that's that's what I just wanted to like share that. that when you said what you said, I, I had to I had to drop that. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You bought on, but what you'll see is that the reality is shift between you and your children, right? Like my nieces, when they talk to me, it's not mundane conversations. Like you know, what I'm saying they're nine and six, but when they have conversations with me, it's about what they're feeling, their fears um things that are actually bothering them some things that they may be wrestling with internally they they, they will actually process things and then come talk to me about it like the fear of not being able to you know dance this year is a real fear for my niece she loves to dance that's her outlet that's her that's her gift that's her freedom and she's great at it so being able to go to school online didn't really bother her, you know, as much as not being able to actually perform this year. And, you know, as I, I, I think if she had have said that to a lot of different people, they would have heard her, but they wouldn't have talked to her about it. Like she has those conversations with me because she knows that I'm going to actually listen and then give her some type of feedback to actually help her deal with that situation. I'm not going to tell her what to do. I'm going to ask her how she feels and then ask her, you know, did you think about this? Did you think about that? Maybe you'll be able to do it virtually. You know, what, what about doing a routine where you guys are six feet apart? You know, don't give up on the situation. Just see how it plays out. Like you have anxiety about something that hasn't even happened yet. And that's a conversation that most parents don't have time to have with their nine-year-olds because they're trying to provide for them. So a lot of times it's just being able to have a why session with your children. So they understand that the moves that you're making, even though they may seem cruel and, and, and judgmental and even punishment at the time, they have a bigger overall reaching, you know, that where if they're uncomfortable about the decision that is made, yes, there is time to talk about it. I guess, you know, to Hassan's point, when the way we grew up, you know, me and my brothers and most of my family members, it was no why. It was because I told you so. And I'll be damned if you're going to question me about what I told you to do. So it always left a gap, like, you know, in reasoning and understanding between me and my parents, which turned to ultimately, you know, me being an extremely rebellious child. Because I needed why. I didn't need you to tell me to do something. I needed to know why I needed to do it. Nowadays, in modern raising of children, you see that question probably less, you know, punished. Like, you don't really see a lot of kids, you know, punish their children for asking why. It's either ignored or it's processed. And I, I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? Even if Trey was on the line tonight, I know he'd be like, look, man, I was a kid. I always had to ask why. Like, our younger generation needs why more than I think our generation ever needed it. And I think it's incumbent upon us to give it to them because it helps them better prepare themselves for the things that they face in life rather than being reactionary. They get a chance to go, hmm, I wonder why this happened to me. Or what, am, what, what happened to me is very similar to something that my father would do. So I can't necessarily take it as a bad thing. It may be for my protection. Hey, you know what, man? Um, that, I like that. I like that point of view. And, um, I, I do teach my kids that same lesson. Um, I, I discipline them, but I sit them down. And before I discipline them, I tell them why I'm disciplining them. This is what happened because you made this choice. You know what I mean? Um, so I give them the whys. And I give them that because as a child, yes, I wanted to know the whys too, just like you. Like, why I got to do that? You know? Um, but I knew if I asked that, my moms would knock my teeth out of my mouth, you know? Um, and that came from their upbringing, you know? So as, as generations get a little more wiser, I guess I can say, mm -hmm. um, we start teaching our kids a little differently. You remember back in the days, man, like I, I tell my kids all the time, man, um, he, yeah, I, I used to get my ass cut every day. They, you know, like I don't, I spare the rod because I'm, w I'm willing to take the time and sit down and explain to them why, 
before back then, my moms ain't had the time. Like you said, she was working two jobs. Two jobs, um, had a husband, raising three kids, three boys at the time. You know what I mean? She ain't had the time to explain why to you. Only thing that she told, if you if she came home and the dishes wasn't washed, she was getting your behind cut. You know, so just want to elaborate on that a little nah, bit too. Nah, I, I, I knew I knew you shared that upbringing. You know what I'm saying? Very, very much, man. I I, I met your mother, so I knew it was right. a, no, it was a no nonsense household. You know, say so your mother was a no nonsense woman. Right. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be the bad guy and jump out here, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and I'm gonna talk about this for a second because, like you, brother Kurt, um, I wore plenty of ass whooping. Um, heck, discipline was the was the rule of the day. Shoot, the rule discipline was the rule in in my household. Mm. Um, but I will go so far as to say a lot of what I carry is because of that. Um, and it took me, I mean, one of the reasons I'm in the field that I'm in is because it took me a long time to try to figure out, you know, like, I think uh, we, were, we were living in Houston at the time. And um, I remember having this conversation with, you know, the gentleman who became my father. Uh, he's not my biological, but he raised me, so I, I call him my father. Um, I remember having this conversation with him. I remember was telling him, you know, um, you used to beat me every day. He said, yeah, I know. I said, and you, you knew that you, because, you know, I had a lot of anxieties growing up, and I used to wet the bed. I wet the bed for years. Um, and he would beat me for that, you know, and I would ask, you know, I tell him, I said, you know, beating me for that only made it more likely that I would do it again. And he would say, yeah, I know. I said, but why would you do it? And he said, because I know nothing else. Mm. You know, so, and I have flashbacks to this day of some of the whoopings I got. You know, I mean, I got one right now that's so, that was so traumatic. It was only two hits. And I can, it was so traumatic to me then that if I, if I stop for a second and put my mind on it, I can see it. That's how bad it was. Mm. Um, it was only two hits. One woke me up, the other knocked me back out. Mm. That was, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I carried them. And for years, I wondered, you know, what is this motivation that we seem to have as parents causing my child pain is supposed to endear them to me? That's not the way the human brain works. If right. something causes you pain, you run away from it. And no amount of hugging me afterwards, telling me you love me, is going to make me change the way I feel about you kicking my ass. It's just yes. not going to work that way. And yes, I'm going to feel some kind of way about it for a long time. And we might talk and be friends because you still feed me and clothe me and put me in a nice place to live. So yeah, I ain't going to be mad at you for too long, but you better believe I ain't going to forget it. And, and, um, and, and, and Sifu, you know, it, I'm going to argue that point because... That is um, sometimes a psychological breaking, right? It so is. A pimp would beat a woman, you know, half the time. It is. And yeah, then it is. wants to nurse her back to hell just to show right. her that I have the ability to love you. And I, and I do love you. And this is me I showing do. you I love you. And what's the saying? It's going to hurt me more than it hurts it hurt No, you. I don't. No, I don't. It hurts me a lot right now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> So and with your took, teeth clenched, you don't look like you're that much pain. Yeah, yeah, no, no. And it took me a long time. And it wasn't until I got into school and started studying human behavior, pathology, the whole nine, and started to realize, okay, for us as a, as a diaspora, we were reacting to, to the fear that we learned growing up in the world that we grew up in. Speak it, my brother. You know what I mean? Because like, like one of, I, I think it was Brother Haas or Brother Kurt, one of you said, you know what I mean? If, if, if the child didn't jump as soon as the parent's voice was heard, that could be life or death. And so it was more important to instill the fear of death in you than it was to give you an environment where you understood the where's and the why's. Yep. Nowadays, however, 
we want our children to aspire and to be greater than so we can't put them out into the world carrying all this baggage and scars that we gave them so now it's it's incumbent upon us to build an environment correction let me change that they set the environment it's our job to guide them through it Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. well you said a mouthful yeah and when we give them the space to set that environment you'd be us you'd be you'd be totally surprised at the lengths that they can go they can go so much further so much faster than we could if we just remove the reins and just let them go if we point them in the direction and say baby you have the capacity of the ability you have it in you to just do it so go you are god do it you know what i mean and then we remove the restraints from them and then not only remove them but we give them the lift up that we didn't have and then just sit back and watch them work um by providing them with the security the nurture the 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 education, the support, the lift, all those things that, that we didn't have. That Because what were we given? Do what I told you or else. Yep. How about if we turn that upside down and say, hmm. go ahead, go do it. Because you want to, go do it. Now, they are going to mess up. But if we give them consequences and rewards as opposed to a stick, if I tell them, okay, this is the decision that you have to make at this point. If you go this way, this is the consequence. If you go this way, this is the reward. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. You got any ideas about this? Well, no, not really. Okay, fine. Then go. And when they mess up and the consequence comes, don't cry at me. You did it. Now, that was my father. <laughs> yeah, that was my dad. You know, you did it. Now, let me help you fix it. Now I'm showing you love. Because now I see you, I see your mistake, and because I love you, I'm not going to overlook it, but I'm going to help you fix it. No, and that's, that's deep. Right? And that's what love is. Yep. To love me without any condition, in there spite of my shortcomings, in spite of my mess-ups, to look at my mess and say, yeah, baby, you made a mess, but come here. I love you. Let's clean it up together. Mm -hmm. now, now, what you going to do to avoid this the next time? Love is love is the highest love of understanding. You hit it right, right? In the head. And so I think if we do that, then the next crew to come up after us won't have the same hang-ups that we have. Hey, see, fool, let me uh, piggyback off you real quick, man. Um, yes, a few sir. years ago, maybe about four, about four years ago, me and my family went to uh, a family strong bond session. You know, kids, wife, you know, myself and everybody. So this strong bond session was set up. Um, you know, the first day was parent led, second day was uh um kids led, right? Ch children led. Then the third day was switching roles. And now you get to see how your kids view you as a person you know like dang uh, uh, curtis always is like clean the kitchen or else you gonna do this because yeah. i said so yeah you know what i mean yeah you never you yeah. never get the experience yeah. that you yeah never get the experience that and hey, that Colin, that, hey, that curtis, hey curtis that's yeah. that mirror that's that mirror. yeah it is yeah. There that's it that, is. Mirror. That's there that you go. mirror there you, you know go I mean? that's that exactly man so like you never get to experience that because you don't we don't allow our kids to 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 do that like like Sifu said they set the uh the uh, environment you know what i mean we are there to guide them mm -hmm. now the roles are flipped and and honestly that changed my relationship with my kids when i was able to see that 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 person in the mirror because they're acting just like me. This is how this is how daddy is. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And now I get to yeah. fix mm -hmm. my wrongs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yep. I remember I remember one one day one night at dinner, you know, cuz after going through everything that I, I put my family went through, I finally had everybody in one house in a completely different city almost. You know what I mean? All my family, all my children around the table, we were sitting there and they, they were playing a game, talking about it, talking about each other back and forth, just calling each other different names, you know. So if you could be an animal, what would you be? And they were going back and forth, back and forth. So then I noticed the only person that they were not including was me. Mm. So just out of curiosity, I said, Well, what what you guys what do you guys call me? And they all got quiet. No more. So I said, Nah, go ahead, tell me. What you know? What would you guys call me? So one of them just looked at me and said, we, we see you as the monster. Mm. So you see me as the monster. Yeah, you're the monster. No problem. When, when you come in. No, thank you. That's why when you come in, we all. Get quiet. Get quiet. What you going to do with mm. my hat? Where my hat? You talking about shattering? <laughs> Shattering. Shattering. That my children saw me that way. Mm. And I said, okay, I got to turn this upside down. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 yeah that's. It's, that's it's like, um, yo, it's really, look, check this out. I'm going to do, I'm going to do it like this. It's like taking, don't, it's hard. Look, we, we, okay, so we boom, boom, boom. So the thing is, is taking it where you at. Taking it where, right where you at. You know what I mean? Don't, hey, you know, you need to cry, excuse me, you need to cry for 30 minutes or whatever the hell. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Get back to this work. Get back to this work. And, Slow your brain waves down and calm down. And all I can really promote is meditation, niggas. For real. Meditate, niggas. You ain't gotta sit in the own potty, hey, you know, but even if you lay back, even when you driving on the interstate, you zone out while you just rolling, that's actually a form of meditation too. It's where your brain wave going to a certain state and just like let it, yo, man. Let it let it open itself, reveal to you what it needs to do, and just have a, a certain level of confidence in yourself, yo. Have a certain level of confidence in yourself. You know what I mean? Tap in and allow yourself to feel what it is that you're feeling, so that way you can deal with what it is that you need to deal with. The first thing you need to do is to face it, because you know what I'm saying. It's like an alcoholic. The first thing, is, you know what I'm saying? What shit? Uh, denial, like a motherfucker. You don't think or whatever. So it's like face it and say, all right, let me see. Don't even don't even be like, don't even play yourself. You ain't got to play yourself, player. You can still be that nigga and be cool, but check it out. You're going to remove your cool. It's going to come in levels, but you can still go in there and be like, hey, you know, let me see what's going on with myself. You ain't, you can, you could be cool and not want to be like uh, something up and feel like you've been need for anything. You can, you can roll into your meditation and come from a place that's like, yo, show me what's up, man. I ain't, I ain't no coward, no punk, or no this or that. I'm doing the best I can, but yo, what's up? I, I feel a way. Sometimes I'm, I might want to knock this one out. I want to do this. Show me, sh give me, give me the symbol you need to give me. And slow your brain waves down, meditate and feel the energy, crawl around and do all the shit it's trying to do and listen to it. Just listen to it. See, it see, see, see what reveals itself to you. And can't nobody on here, my, 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 my brothers that surround us, that's mad love, but can, can none of us, can none of us tell you what that's like? All we could do is to speak from each one of our God perspectives of, of, of the earth that we traveled in the years we put in. But yo, to, yo, to those that's listening, just try to slow your brain waves down, calm it down, and just try to understand the images and the symbols that's coming before you so you can put yourself in a better position and you can handle things from a better place, man. You know what I mean? Because it's still coming. So you're going to do it whether you do it all right or whether you do it kicking or screaming. So get yourself together. Breathe. That, that, that's, that's, that's blessings. You do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I know it's just, hard. It's shit hard. You know what I mean? But 
that's all I can really tell you, man. For real. Nah, you just you just actually answered the last question for the night, man. So you know what I'm saying? You 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 definitely was on the right wavelength with your comments, man, because the last question for the night, how we end every session is always pragmatic. And that is, you know what I'm saying? What are some of the methods that you're using or you suggest should be used to help you combat or fix some of the things that you see? And your answer was perfect, Hassan. You know what I'm saying? So Sifu, what do you think that the best method is for you to be able to combat the man in the mirror? Hmm. Best method to combat him. Combat. Hold up. Sequel. See. He said, come. Let me mute. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let, me mute. Let me shut the fuck up. My bad, um, see. Let me shut the fuck up. Um, that was my dude. Hmm. The best way to combat the man, and I don't think I'd want to combat him. Got you. Um, I think what in the world? What? <laughs> What's my dude right there? Bro? I saw it. It's just that um, <laughs> um, I think uh, uh, Tai Chi says, um, invest in loss. Right, meaning if you give up, then you gain. Um, if a force greater than yourself this shit is beautiful comes beautiful. at you beautiful. then you give way and it goes by and mm-hmm. in that way you gain you win um so i don't know that i'd want to so let me change back. the wording in that and say instead of come back the man in the mirror i'll use uh-huh. the definition of the man in the mirror how do you become the man in the mirror is what i really meant by asking um so how how do okay so i'm going to i'm going to carry that a little bit further and say how do i use the knowledge i have to 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 actualize the the person i want to be um um and i think so it's a hard, it's a hard question to answer only because I'm a person, I'm a, I'm a person that, so I recognize that we all live on, in many different levels. So what we've been talking about primarily is, is, a, is, is, is a spiritual, emotional, mental awakening where we understand ourselves and the creativity, the capacity that we have in our own divinity. Okay, that's one thing. Right. But then how do we take that and bring it down to a tangible, um, ethereal, uh, um, right here, you know, on on the ground level where I can actually manifest the thoughts, feelings, beliefs, emotions that I have into things that can be picked up and put back down. I mean, I'm standing here looking at a remote, at a remote control that years ago someone would have thought was 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 witchcraft. So how does that? How does a thought become this thing? And I think for me, it all comes down to small, tiny things that I can actually do. Um, I think somebody said in the previous conversation, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Um, I look at the larger goal that I want to accomplish and I break it all the way down into tiny little things that I can do day by day by day. Because practical, having a, pra- practical practicality. Exactly. Having an understanding of who I am gives me the gives me the belief, the knowledge, the understanding that I can do it. But now I have to break it down piece by piece to tell me how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> okay, so I have firm belief in my divinity and my ability to create. I have firm belief in that. But because we live here in, and we live here in, in, in a terrestrial existence, manifestation of the creativity has, has to come in a form of things. So then I have to manipulate the material of the things that surround me to bring them to a reality. So that means, like we were talking about the program earlier today, how do you make something like that come to fruition? 
then we have to break it down piece by piece, step by step. So I put up on a wall, I write it down first, and that takes it from my thoughts and makes it something tangible and written as now. Now I can share it because someone else can see it. And then I go from there and plan my steps. Okay, who do I call today? What is the what is the outcome of that conversation that I want it to be? And then you go step by step by step by step. And then in in the folks who come behind me, the folks that I try to to co-opt into this effort, I give them the vision that I'm carrying. I I, I try to 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 instill in them a a belief in self. Hold on, Sifu. What happens when you hit a pitfall? What do you do when you hit that pitfall? What do you do then? There are no pitfalls. Uh! Why? Yeah. Why ain't no pitfalls? <laughs> because if if I run into something that's that makes me stop and say, okay, you failed here, that's not a failure. That's that's me learning how ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seat, to, buckle your seatbelts. That <laughs> that's what I'm talking know, that, about. That's you know, that's me learning okay, so there there may have been a weakness in, in the in 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 the in the design. So right. me bumping into that wall lets me know, okay, there's the weakness, fix it, now we keep it moving. So there keep are it, no keep it there are no failures. Keep it moving. But now I can I can instill in the next person that comes up with me, I can instill in them a sense of purpose and drive so that they continue with and they can join in the work. So I think that's a long way of trying to answer the questions. That's mm-hmm. how I take what I have and turn it into actual reality. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I mean, we don't, we are not breathing space air right now. We're breathing earth air right now. Mm-hmm. So the product of my work has to be earth. It can't be space. Right. So that means that means the product has be to tangible. be right here. Be tangible. Right. Nah, nah. Again, I, I appreciate the perspective, mm. man. I um Yo. This one this one right here gave me a lot to think Fire. about. Fire. Yeah, this one gave me a lot to think about, man. This was um an opportunity to share what I see in the mirror and hear what other people see in the mirror and understand that, that you're not alone in those wrestles. Um, hear different methods of dealing with some of the insecurities, the anger, the sense of loss, or even the sense of want to be more than what you see in that mirror and go, damn. Yeah. In some way, Everybody has said something I wrestled with. I mean, we only said one thing, but I mean, I've wrestled with everything said on this call. And I just want to say I appreciate you brothers for sharing that, for helping me grow and for helping me learn um, how to, you know, better see and interact, you know, with myself and other people, man, because this is a journey that, again, man, you just can't do this alone. I mean, I mean, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you, brothers, man, for coming everybody on. Everybody got their own way to go about it, you know? Everybody got their own way to go about it, man, you know? So, yo, man, it's, it's definitely been a pleasure, man. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, man. Asaz, man, yo, appreciate that, man. I um, Thank you for jumping on. And Kurt, Oh I, yeah. I know his wife called. I'd definitely would rather him take that call. Than have to- mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, man. Oh yeah, yeah nigga. You know with the yeah. queen. Hell yeah. Like he said, man, he defines himself as family man. So ain't nothing, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um he's go. living his truth right now. So nah, I appreciate everybody for coming on tonight, man. Love you, brothers, man. Wish you a good night. No doubt. Likewise. God got Stay it. Stay safe. All right. One. Yep.